Hey guys, Evan again, your paramedic coach. Something brand new for you today. What we're gonna be doing is a little patient testing. What I mean by that is, I'm gonna give you two case studies, okay? Don't skip ahead in this video, two case studies. I'm gonna share with you case study one, case study two, and you're gonna tell me what is the diagnosis of this patient, all right? A little, little role play today, all right? Something new I want to introduce to the channel. So here it is. When you hear case study one, stop the video and then comment down below what do you think is going on. Hit play, listen to case study two, and then what is the diagnosis? So your patient is a 75 year old female patient, all right? Just got off a 12 hour plane ride. As she gets off the plane ride, is going into the baggage claim area, gets hit difficulty breathing. She looks down her at her jeans and the jeans are starting to rip. She's like, what's going on here? She looks at her left leg and her calf is swollen like crazy and it's really painful. She has a hard time breathing. EMS arrives, the heart rate is 125, the SBO2 is 90%. This patient smokes, a very heavy smoker, okay? What do you think, just from hearing that, what alarm bells are going off in your head. Now, if there's no alarm bells going off in your head, you're gonna learn, okay? If there are, great job, all right? So stop this video, comment down below, what do you think is going on, case study one. Your next patient is a 45-year-old female patient. The patient is on the second floor uh, inside her apartment, She's basically sitting on the couch, and what's happening is she's having a very hard time breathing. She's kind of slumped over. You can hear the, you can hear she's struggling so much to breathe, right? She tells you that she takes a medicine called prednisone, all right? She's been taking it for a long, long time, all right? Also, she tells you in her history that she tried to take some of her inhalers and it just didn't work. She's been coughing up some sputum for the last few days, all right? So those are two different case studies for you guys. Comment below on what you think's going on and I'll tell you the answers. All right, stop the video, comment below. All right, case study one, guys, is something I talk about a lot with my students, is pulmonary embolism. You know, a lot of uh, emergency medicine doctors say all the time, look, I don't wanna get caught, I don't wanna get caught with having a chest pain and it comes back as PE and I missed it. It's so sneaky. Because PE commonly has clear lung sounds, right? It's just so sneaky. So, you know, some of the risk factors for PE is long travel, smoking, right? Obviously, the patient was a little older, so that, that can be it too. So that's, that was the, the big ticket there is if you hear difficulty breathing with like bed rest, recent surgery, uh, long period of stasis, stasis is like not moving. PE is going, alarm bell, alarm bell, alarm bell. You'll get so good at it as soon as you hear a plane, a train, or a bus in a scenario, you're like, P.E., it's P.E., it's P.E. Like, literally, it's, it's just like, it's what happens, right? It's funny, but it's true. And then the other one, guys, was uh, a, a little tricky. Uh, the patient was a little young, but I, what I was trying to go with was the patient's on prednisone for a long time, COPD patient. Try the NEBS, didn't work, right? On prednisone for a long time, COPD patient. So, guys, good job on that. Hey guys, if you love my videos and you want more, first off, click subscribe down below. And then also, if you could, like, comment, and hey, you can even share this video with your friends who absolutely need to see it. And if you wanna learn even more, really take your EMS skills, career, and game to the next level, all you gotta do is click the link in the description to my Paramedic Coach course. It is a course that has over 100 videos of exclusive content, stuff that you won't see anywhere else. I'd love to help you, and if you wanna learn more, click that link in the description. I'll see you on the course.